watcher everyone, Lady Ray here for her first speed build and upload to YouTube. Uh, first thing I like to do in my builds, I always enter the cheat codes, otherwise I tend to forget later on. Um, and then I get really annoyed when I go to get into debug and I can't. Um, I always build with move objects on, so if you want to download my builds from the gallery, just always make sure you have move objects on. Sometimes I don't use debug, but I typically do when I'm especially trying to landscape, not necessarily inside of the house, but Definitely with landscaping. It's just so much easier to landscape with debug, debug objects. Plus you can make it look so much more interesting. They have grouping of trees and it's just, it just looks so much more natural. Um, you'll see that I definitely had trouble with the entryway, the exterior entryway in this house. Um, just wasn't happening. I wasn't really happy with it in the end, but it, it wound up looking okay. You know, it looked like it fit with the cottage, which was okay. Um, you'll see me fiddling with the sizing of the home. Um, took a little bit to figure out what I wanted it to look like. I was going off of an inspiration photo that I had found on Pinterest. Um, I actually go to Pinterest a lot for inspiration. That and just the homes around where I live. I live in an area of Pennsylvania that has a lot of historic homes. Anything from colonial to Victorian, mid-century, farming houses, a lot of farmhouses. Um, so I take pictures of homes as I see them and I upload them to my Pinterest board, which is private. So you guys can't find out where I live. Um, but that's typically where I go for my inspiration. Google sometimes, but mostly Pinterest. I find that through there I can find a lot of house plans that usually come with the pictures. So that's a lot of interior design designers seem to be on there. So a lot of house plans on there too, which makes it a lot easier sometimes. Um, so I did get this new Star Wars pack before I started building this build. Not for the gameplay. Don't come at me. But um, mostly for the build, build by objects. Um, when I saw other simmers reviewing the pack, I noticed that there were definitely objects in there that I could see myself using a lot. Um, so I wanted to get it mostly for that. And it was its typical price, so I said why not. Um, you'll see me here placing three chimneys. I do that a lot in my builds. Um, rather than sizing the chimneys up or down, um, I just place multiple. You get more smoke and during gameplay and for your videos, and it just looks great. Oh, I was having so much problem with the doors. This is what I was talking about with me having problems with the entryway. I found what I liked, and it didn't work because of the game update which is really annoying. I had this problem later on too with a window in the kitchen. Didn't work because of the update. Um, so you'll see me, I just deleted a wall, made it a inset um, entryway, and then I wound up having to run the debug anyway. Um, I wanted it to look a little bit more rough, and I just, I couldn't find what I wanted. I wanted it to be a door kind of surrounded by rocks, and you know, to give it that rustic cottage feel and no, it just wasn't happening. Um, I think it turned out all right in the end, you know, it wasn't really what I was going for, but I wound up using some debugs from get together anyway. Um, so it kind of fit. Wish I could have recolored it, but again, debug can't really do that. Um, went with this cool door. So yeah, thought it kind of fit. It's a cottage. You know, give it that kind of creepy cottage kind of vibe. Um, I have moved in a couple that was pregnant and gonna have a kid. Um, I had just bought the home, so. Um, you'll see me go into the interior here and try to figure out what I'm gonna do. Almost all of my homes have an entryway of some kind. Um, I love entryways in homes. One of the things I hated about my new home that we just moved into this spring is that it doesn't have an entryway. Rarely do people demolish walls in the historic district that I live in. It's not really feasible, but they managed to do it in my home, of course, and they got rid of the entryway wall. So my entryway opens right into my living room, and I hate it. Um, so yeah, entryway and hallways. I'm big on them. I typically make them work. Um, I make them look like they're supposed to be there, and I decorate them well, I think. I think I do, at least. I mean, let me know what you think. If you don't like them, Maybe I can try it, but I'm not very good at furnishing open floor plans. I don't know, I just, 
I don't like them. I'm not a very modern kind of person, I guess, in that way. I think that's my history degrees coming to light there. I don't know. But another thing I typically do right even before I start furnishing is I put paint on all the walls. It just helps me get into the mindset of this room is this and this room is this. Um, and I light everything up even if I don't use those lights later. I just like to put lights everywhere so I can see what I am doing. Kitchens are one of the favorite rooms for me to do. I just love doing them. I don't know why. I just do. Not that they're easy because sometimes they're really not. But I just love doing them. But my thought on this kitchen was that the old owners, they renovated a little bit. They just didn't do the floors, so that's why I use that floor from City Living. It's kind of one of my favorite floors to use right now because it looks worn and, you know, looks like it's been there for a while. But it still kind of looks cool. Um, so they, they, they renovated a little bit, but they didn't do the floors, which it kind of reminds me of my house right now. They did the floors, but they didn't do the cabinets. And they painted, but they didn't do the cabinets. Like, why? Just do it all. Because now when I go to do it, i got to rip everything out anyway. You can't do the cabinets and not the floor. It's just, yeah. And you can see where there's that random window there. Because the one I wanted to put didn't work. The one that went well with the other windows, it didn't work. So that was really annoying. Um, you'll see me flip between cameras a lot, starting here. I do that a lot when I'm building. I flip between The Sims 4 camera and The Sims 3 camera. Just something I got used to doing. I know a lot of people just prefer to use one camera while they build. I flip. Depends on what I'm placing, honestly. If I'm placing a furniture set, I typically just stay on the Sims 4 camera. But if I'm, you know, placing clutter or you know, things like that, or just a chair in the living room, I will definitely turn on the Sims 3 camera. So I'm constantly flipping cameras. I just got so used to doing that. Um, so yeah, it's just something I do. So you'll see me constantly do that throughout the game. Um, sometimes you probably won't even pick up on me doing it. You'll just be like, oh, she's moving that in that way. She wants to switch cameras. Um, so yeah, it's just something I do. I don't have a preference on which camera I like more. Sometimes I find the Sims 3 camera really annoying and sometimes I think it's really great. Don't have a preference. I started to try to decorate the hallway here and then I was like, well, I'm not really feeling the hallway right now. So I just got, kind of moved on. Put a bookcase there. I knew I wanted to keep that, but I wasn't feeling decorating the rest right now. So I moved on to the living room. I knew what I wanted to do in there. So moved on to the living room. And like I said, I living rooms aren't really my thing either. It's more so figuring out the layout than it is anything else. Um, I knew I wanted to put the TV on the fireplace, but these TVs like to stick to walls, so I had to delete the walls and raise it up and, you know, put the walls back. So, yeah, so I did that, and I decided to use the Eco Sofa, um, just because mostly of the color of the wood, um... I thought it went really well with the rest of the room, the rest of the house. Um, and with that chair, I hate that there's not a matching chair to that sofa. It's one of my biggest pet peeves with The Sims. Why do not all the sofas not have matching chairs? Chairs with matching sofas or love seats. Biggest pet peeve. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, and you'll see eventually I will change up the color of the carpet to match the curtains, and yeah, and then I eventually will, I will remember to paint that wall. <laughs> um, I'm not quite catching it yet, but I will remember to paint it, and then I just could not figure out what to do with this wall. I was like, oh, what to do, what to do, what to do, and then I remembered from Star Wars videos these wall containers and how much I love them. They look so much like Ikea containers, don't they? And they would just work in so many homes, whether it's cottages or modern homes if you make them stark white or silver. So I decided to go with these and I was messing around, maybe thinking, oh, if I just put them on the wall, kind of weird, different different ways, they look kind of cool, but then I just wanted them making it all even, clean cut. 
um, and, you know, raising things up into them. One thing you will notice in all of my builds, I do not use any mods. I have tried using mods. I do not use the red shelf. I can't. I have tried putting it into my game. My game crashes every single time I try to use a mod. It just doesn't work. You know, I... <laughs> I got locked out of my game the one time I had to contact EA and I'm like, EA, what is going on? I can't get onto the gallery. I can't do anything. They couldn't fix it. They could not fix it. They had no idea what was wrong. I'm not having to reset my entire game and start over from scratch. And it was the most frustrating thing. And then it happened a couple of weeks later when I tried to put just the red shelf in. Because I was like, oh, it can't possibly just be the red. It wound up crashing again. And... Thankfully, my husband this time was able to help me. He's a software developer. He was able to help me, and I went from and reset it again anyway, but at least I didn't lose everything this time. Um, I love cluttering desk areas. Don't know why that is, but I just think it's so much fun. And those postcards, I put those postcards in almost every desk area in the houses that I do. I don't know why. I just do. I just think that's such a desk thing to have. I don't know. It just is. Um, and then I clutter up this little table with the nifty knitting. Um, I think maybe the, maybe the mom picks up knitting or something like that while she's pregnant. I know. I didn't really pick up much while I was pregnant. I just kind of read a lot because I was mostly on bed rest the entire second half of my pregnancy. Um, couldn't do much. So I didn't really pick up any new hobbies, but I know a lot of women do while they're pregnant. Um. So yeah, I kind of imagined the Sim picking up knitting while she was pregnant and knitting some little booties for her new baby. I love these curtains. These are my favorite curtains in the entire game. I love how they look. And again, I changed the rug because it just happened to go perfectly with it. Um, I put some bricks down um, as a little, you know, fireplace area. I see that a lot. Um, in older homes and cottages like this. Um, so even though the rug is covering a lot of it, I just thought it was a nice little touch step underneath there. Um, at this point, I go to the entryway. I don't know why I like entryways so much, but there's just like a nice, welcome to my home. Here I am. Get a taste of what I am before you come see the rest of me kind of thing. Um, I knew I wanted to put a mirror in a rug. I always put a mirror in a rug. It's just, it works. You're going out of your house, you need to check yourself before you go. And if you're coming in, you need to wipe your feet if it's raining. Um, so yeah. And then you'll see I go around and I start changing all the lights. Um, I took out all the saucer lights and I put in these older looking lights. I just thought it fit the cottage so much more. So yeah. Just kind of went through and did that. Sometimes I won't do that in my builds. I'll leave the saucer lights. Sometimes I do. Just kind of flights of fancy. Depends on if I feel like it or not, I guess. Then I move on to the nursery. I actually love how this nursery turned out. It's one of my favorite nurseries that I've done. I don't... Since we got that bed from Eco, nurseries are so much better <laughs> looking. They just seem to go so well. And because before that, toddler beds were just, forgive me, but they were ugly. They were garish. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like garish kids' rooms. My son's room is not brightly colored and, you know, all neon. So I prefer toddler rooms that look like this. Now, kids' rooms, I will go for the bright colors and, you know, I'll do that in the Sims, but babies need several colors. They don't need the oh, lots of colors. I can't really see him anyway, so hmm. it helps him sleep better. Maybe the Sims baby will sleep better, right? You can only hope. You won't have to worry about it too much. And then I moved on to this room, which I envisioned a preteen girl. Usually I try to do neutral bedrooms, you know, kind of like I did with the nursery. Um, but for some reason I just decided, eh, preteen girl. So that's kind of what I did here, and you can kind of tell that it's a preteen girl, and you know, Going from little girl to, you know, teenager. Um, couldn't figure out what to do with that wall again. This is this is a problem line sometimes. I just cannot figure out what to put on these walls. Because I had already put a mirror over in the corner. 
So, there's because she has photos of her friends. Pardon me for yawning. It's just that time of the day. I'm just winding down. You know? But like me, I couldn't find those lights for the longest time. And I was like, what am I doing? Why am I not just narrowing down? And just through parenthood. I'm like, why am I not doing that? <laughs> I forget things a lot when I'm looking. Sometimes I know exactly where something is. And other times I think I do. And then I just, I can't find it. Oh, but yeah, I could not find that. Cluttering. I love to clutter. But I also love to make sure that the Sims can still use everything. Um, but I know they don't really use the tops of dressers, so I will clutter the hell out of a dresser. I just love to do it. Especially teenagers' dressers. I remember what my dressers used to look like as a teen. My mom, oh my gosh. She hated how I would leave my bedroom. Especially the tops of my dressers and my desk. It was just stuff everywhere. All the... I mean, if I showed you my vanity right now, it's not much better, and I'm a 32-year-old woman. <laughs> my husband hates that I do that, but it's just part of who I am, and I think it starts as with girls as they're teenagers. They're either really, really clean, or they're not. I'm doing the adult bedroom right now. I hate adult bedrooms. They're boring. I don't like doing them in The Sims. They're just not something I enjoy doing. I don't... I don't know why. I just don't. It's probably why I saved them for last because it's hard for me to put personality into them. Pardon me. It's hard for me to put personality into them. Um, so I just kind of get through them quick and hope that whoever downloads the bill will put more personality into the adult bedroom. Um, and here I'm doing the hallway. Like I said, I love hallways and I love decorating them. And they're just nice little little leeways into where you're going into the home and that way you don't see the doors to the bedrooms i don't know why i have such a thing with like you don't want to see the doors to the bedroom i don't know it's just the way i am and i'm cluttering up the kitchen which i wasn't too heavy about but i always put pots on my stoves stoves still work if you put a pot on the back burner you just gotta make sure you nudge it back just far enough um so yeah you'll see me play test it later don't even get me started on playtesting stoves. They nearly always catch themselves on fire when I'm playtesting a stove. Always. Or they will catch the furniture on fire while playtesting in the fireplace, which they didn't do this time, but they did catch themselves on fire playtesting a stove. Every time. Not kidding. Every time. <laughs> really annoys me. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> but... Oh, and one thing I always, so I don't forget trash cans. I know that's a huge problem for you guys, the simmers who forget to put bins in. That's not something I do. I don't forget to put bins in. If you go back, I do not forget a bin, okay? Do not forget that. But I will forget to put in fire alarms constantly, always. So if you download one of my builds, I do always check to make sure the kitchen has fire alarms. Because it might not. Which is really bad of me. I always remember my own home. I'm paranoid. I am paranoid about having carbon monoxide detectors, fire alarms, the whole nine yards, every room. Yeah. My grandfather's a firefighter. It's drilled into my head. I know it. But in The Sims, I forget. Probably because they catch on fire all the time, regardless of if I have a fire alarm. So I'm like, in my mind, what does it matter? Fire alarms don't do crap except get the firefighters there who just stand there and talk to you while you're burning to death. Right? There's my little rant for the day. Now I'm going into debug. Debug and landscaping go hand in hand in my mind. <laughs> There's no better way to landscape than debug. Um, if you need to go into debug, you want to input testing, che testing cheats true into your cheat. And then you want to do bb dot show live edit objects and bb dot show hidden objects. Um, and then in your search bar down in by build, you want to type in debug. I usually click on the fourth one down, which is what most people do. Here, um, there is a pond in debug. There's only one small fishing pond. It is the only one you can size up and size down. I use it all the time. 
in little builds like this. It's just a nice little thing to have in the backyard, especially on cottages like this. But it is the only one that you can size up and size down without it glitching. Um, and I love that about it. Sometimes I'll lose it and I'll have to go back and find it and I have to like look around. Um, but it's also the only one that has a legit name, so it's pretty easy to find, but it's not grouped with the other debug ponds. It's like three rows above it. So you have to really look for it. Um, you'll see me putting a lot of ground foliage down throughout this build. It just kind of fit with it. Um, it kind of drove the price of the build up. Sorry. But, um, yeah, it just works. And I do put this down, but then later on I go around and I play test. I play test the hell out of my builds. I want to make sure that my sims can get everywhere on the lot. And I want to make sure that everything works for them. Um, one thing I do not do, mostly, I tend to not put too many activities into my builds. Children's activities, yes. So like toy boxes, um, swing sets, things like that. Pools, you know, things like that. Rarely will you find an art easel or, you know, something like a future cube, something like that. Um, I don't really find places that they just look right. Um, and in my mind, it's kind of like, you guys can buy that stuff for your sims. Um, you, your sims can earn the money for that stuff. You can buy them for their hobbies if that's their hobby. Um, why, why put that stuff into the builds? That might not be their hobby. That might not be the skill that you want to build. Why? You know what I mean? So you guys can get that stuff and you can decide where in the build that you want to put that. Um, so I tend to not put skill building items into my build. Um, it's just something I do. Um, I leave that up to the people who download my builds. Um, so yeah, and I'm still landscaping here. Um, I use that fountain quite a bit in builds like this. Um, I like it and it's just so cute. It's just cute. You know, it's like a decommissioned fountain and it's just, it's cute. And then I, so I did put in, I was like, oh, they're having a baby and they probably have a kid, maybe, or they're going to adopt one and they need somewhere to play. So I put it back behind the house. It didn't really look right in the garden. So I put it back behind the house and, and I was like, oh, I need rocks. I need rocks. Why do I need rocks? I don't know why I need rocks, but I just felt like I need rocks. And then I did some ground painting and make it more, look more real. You know, um, and then I started deciding what to put outside. And I love that bench from the Star Wars pack. It looks like it's been outside for a while. It looks, you know, like somebody built it from hand. And I couldn't decide what bench that I put a log. You know, I thought I went well with the bench. Um, put that mailbox there because I just... Sometimes the regular plain old mailbox just doesn't work. Um, so I thought that mailbox kind of went well. Like it looks like it's been there. It's established as flowers growing on it. Um, putting some lights. Had to delete a light later on. Um, just because she, for some reason, said that she couldn't walk past it. So I wound up deleting it. Um, but yeah, this is me just checking to make everything works. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to play test everything. Like I said, I do play test everything. I play test all my builds. Um, you will see when I upload things, I use hashtag play tested. Um, I use that on Twitter and I use that in the gallery. So never need to know if something is play tested. If I forget the hashtag, just assume it's play tested. This is where she sets herself on fire. Yep. A firefighter, firefighter actually came in and helped. Rare. Rare. I did not expect him to do that, but then he wouldn't leave. He was flirting with her. I don't know if you noticed that. For a little bit there, he had a little flirt icon of up. I'm like, man, get away from him. She is pregnant with his baby. Stop flirting with her. Um, and I had to go around and move some shrubbery around because she couldn't get on the path, and I wanted to make sure that she could. And then she couldn't get underneath this arch, which really upset me because I really liked the arch. 
And then I was getting really frustrated because I was gonna have to delete my arch and debug. And so I deleted the fence too. And I was like, whatever, delete the fence. Um, and then I went in there and I play tested everything. She can fish in the pond. The pond still works even though it's sized down. She may fish awkwardly from awkward positions, but they can fish in the pond and they can catch fish. None of the rare fish, just the normal fish. Um, but yeah, so this has been uploaded to the gallery. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the speed build with me today. It is called Hidden English Cottage. It is under Lady Ray 527 on the gallery. Thank you for joining me for my first speed build. I hope you had a good day, good evening, and please join me next time. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.